We are alive. A very happy Friday afternoon to you. And I tell you, the past two days have been very, very nice weather here. So I'm highly motivated to come out and carve me. Spin around a little bit. Um, it's been nice. Let me see here. Yesterday it was 78 inside. Today a little bit warmer, 84, but still, still very, very nice. One thing that I have not talked much about. Let me flip this bad boy around. I took a bunch of bunch of footage in the beginning of the decoy trailer. So this is it. Um, it's a 20-foot enclosed car trailer that has really kind of worked out pretty good. Now, I will have to admit that, and Karen, if she was here, would tell you, like, this was just totally, totally jam-packed full and full. Um, went through a whole bunch of stuff. There's on around the corner. There's, like, five trash bags of scraps. Um, this, that I'm still going to think there's still some some value out there but um yeah the decoy trailer is uh just because of being limited in space not limited in space with space excuse me um it's you know it has worked out pretty well there are projects in here for days but i gotta kind of concentrate and focus um starting to cut out one two three four five there's six 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 hen wood ducks these are going to Oakview Charlie, if you follow him on here, Oakview Farms. And I was able to get, well, then I wanted to start mallards and black ducks, doing some PEI Canada black ducks. Really excited about getting back up there. Borders open August 9th, and uh, we're just kind of making sure that we understand 100% what we need to do. Uh, and then I was able to get one, two, three, four teal over here. So there's a box, the box right there. There's uh, three or four teal there. Uh, I've got a bunch of orders, or, excuse me, well, orders, yeah, and deposits on some teal. So I'm gonna get get them going on. Dana Lovell, long line decoys. You can't see it there, but here. I'll flip it around. There's some wood from Dana last year, May. So nice piece of cedar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six wood duck hens. And then the rest of these are going to be uh, black duck and mallard. So looking forward to cutting that out just in a little bit, which I probably will break the GoPros out. Um, two, I'm, I'm jumping all around. Check this piece. Check this piece of cedar out. This is a unit right here. <laughs> I've been wanting to do something with it forever. And I just thought, you know what? Uh, G off. Jeff Wood, um, he, he, he was kind of suggested, and I need to make black ducks anyway, but he's like, hey man, why don't you bring, make some black ducks and bring them up there and we'll gun over them. So, um, so yeah, that's what that's all about. I do want to say two, two, uh, two features in the trailer that really make it nice is to be able to have some sound. So we got the turtle box fired up and I got the, uh, what is that? 40, uh, 48 inch, whatever size that is, but these guys blow nice, nice air in here and, um, Again, this is the decoy trailer. It's worked out very well for me. I think it's going to continue to work out well for me. And, uh, yeah. Uh, here we got, uh, those, those three are um, Drakewood ducks. So I got some more heads. Uh, heads are, I found there's a box of them out, out on the side there. But there's, there's, there's one that'll go on one of those bodies. Kind of like a preener. I either do like a, like a preener. Or kind of a kind of maybe a, a inverted, so something like that. Uh, here's a big, massive two piece, two piece swan. Oh, that sounds weird. I'm not sure what that's all about. I don't know. I don't know what that noise is. Um, but yeah, got the swan going on there. Uh, and there's a couple teal bodies still sitting over there too. So um, works, you know, works out pretty pretty good. It could be, I could be uh, have it organized much much better. But, uh, yeah, man, check out the trail anytime you like. It is kind of, like I said, it is, there's a lot of, this plate, this up in here was just totally full. So I still, I do have, I still got to deal with, um, I don't like getting rid of the, the, the cutouts for the pattern. So I like keeping those and, um, and then there's some, some wood that I'm, I'm going to be able to make, make something work out of. So Steve Hoover, world's largest duck boat trailer load master. So. But yeah, that's all I got going on this afternoon. I'm going to 
Turn the fans back on. Let me flip this around. Whoops, wrong, wrong one. There we go. I am gonna turn the fans back on and uh, fire the vacuum up and I'm gonna cut the sheet of cork. Oh, here, here's something I wanna, this was, this was on my mind. When laying out cork, this is what I think about. I think about how my band saw set up and how easily can I lay that sheet up in there and cut the bodies out. So I'm basically going to be holding, you know, holding the, holding the, the uh, cork and I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of keep working through them that way. And it's more or less the same thing with the heads too. Uh, I've got one mark there. I can get, I can get about 12 and a half inches. Uh, where's my, doo -doo -doo. here it is. So from the blade, you know, Realistic, really 13 inches, 13, but I was using 12. But you gotta figure out, you gotta figure out how you're gonna navigate through your wood here. So um, I do have, I do have theirs, that's easily. I can get through that piece, and then come here and get get that next, and then I'll kinda work my way through here. But once once it gets small, once this piece gets short, shorter in here, it's much easier to, you know, to handle it and, and run it through up there. So that was one thing as I was laying them out I wanted to talk about, so. Dana, check this out. I already mentioned you, man. What's that say? Dana Lovell, long line decoys. That was a claim for something. I don't know what happened there, but anyway. And I had to, where was it? You were here too. I wrote it on this side, but I kind of sanded her out real quick just so it'd be easier to, be easier to, to draw the heads out. So, thank you, John. Don uh, I, man, I was, I've been in Lockport many, many times, but that name is not familiar. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Happy Friday afternoon to everyone. Uh, if you're just, just tuning in, whoops, the, I thought I'd just kind of show the decoy trailer. I'll show you just real quick. I know some people just coming in, coming on. And I uh, actually cleaned it out today. Basically, all up and through there was just full of boxes, old scraps on around the corner. There's five trash bags full of stuff. I still have some scrap, some patterns that I'm going to bring back in. But, um... It was nice to get it all, all totally, all totally clean out. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. Um, but the, the trailer has worked out. I think it's worked out pretty well. So, and again, there's more, there's more than enough projects right in here. Um, but like I said earlier, if you, if you did not hear, Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hen wood ducks. <clears throat> was able to fit two teal in there. I always try to maximize my material. <clears throat> the the uh, wood ducks black, or, I'm sorry, mallards and black ducks. One, two, three, four. I got out of it plus two more teal. I'm going to throw a, a little puffin, little puffin pattern in there real quick. Big Hunter, what is up? All the way from Turkey tuning in. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, so... Got all that going on, and the same thing with laying out the heads. So I got, got my wood, hen wood duck heads, and got the mallard and black duck, and a big, 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 some just a super nice piece of cedar. It is, it's, I, I can, I can say it's, can't say it's feather light, but for the size of it is, the mass of it is, it's feather light. So, hmm, can't say that I do either. I'm sorry. All right, everyone, let me flip this around. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate a very happy Friday to everyone. I hope it's uh, halfway decent wherever you're at. Have a safe and happy weekend. More to come, more to follow. And if you like these kind of videos, please get on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash pitboss, P-I-T-B-O-S-S, Waterfowl. So easy to, easy to find us on there, and I do appreciate you following me on, on Instagram. So, as always, thinking of you, we are. Let me flip, flip around. Happy Saturday. No, it's still Friday. Very happy Friday to everyone thinking who we are. Hey, yo.